Ho, ho, holy cats, folks. It's already the end of the year. And what the end of the year means is it is a great time to buy a new car. Now, if you haven't really thought about why Chevy has all these, I'm an employee and we're really excited to give our pricing that we as employees get to everyone else, which kind of negates the purpose of having a employee incentive. Why that stuff happens is because there is a lot of money to be left on the table if cars are on the lot as of January 1. There's tax reasons why a dealership wants to move their vehicles. And also from a sales perspective, I was in corporate sales for 12 years. End of the month, end of the quarter, end of the year. There are so many incentives for salespeople and their managers to hit numbers. This is the absolute best time to find a great deal on a vehicle. So Going into that, I want to share a couple tips and tricks that I personally have found have helped me land way more car for my dollar at the end of December. Step one is being prepared. Know what you're looking for. There are a ton of resources out there, but I really like consumer reports. What they do is take feedback from people all over the country and help you understand what a good product looks like. So this is a list from 2014 of the most reliable cars which is what my wife and I are always looking for is something that's going to last, right? The most reliable cars of 2014. This gave us a really good benchmark to be prepared when we walked into a dealership. Why something that's three years old yet? Yeah. Hey, that's a great question. And it's for another vlog. I will have leasing versus buying somewhere down the line. But the overall, uh, overall idea is Cars depreciate much more quickly the first three years than the rest of their lifetime. So if you're not going to buy a vehicle brand new, please consider buying something that's at least three years old because then the value of the car will depreciate at the same rate of the age. Those first three years, it falls way quicker. That's good stuff. Second, know how much you're willing to spend. You don't want to get roped into options or models that aren't in your price range. So again, by preparing, you know what you're looking for. It helps you control that sales cycle throughout and it's going to reduce surprises on the back end. Uh, third piece, this only works if you're prepared to make a decision that day. So by doing your homework, you should know where you're going to go. But the power of this is saying, I will sign today if. Oh, and don't forget about needing insurance. you got a guy for that. If you need insurance, let me know. Here are a few uh tips and tricks for the trade. Things that I've always found success with are going in and pointing out things about a vehicle on your list that you're considering buying that maybe you're not crazy about. We bought a minivan three years ago that reeked like cigarette smoke. Uh, they promised that they could fix it. Hot days, we still smell it, but that was a huge opportunity for us to negotiate. So there are negotiation opportunities everywhere throughout the whole sales process. It's not just the price of the car. So things to consider are if you're bringing a car to the lot, how much is that car worth? Do your Kelly Blue Book homework and think 10 to 20% more. Again, they're incentivized to bring cars on to close deals. You should be incentivized to get the most for what you have. Everyone thinks about negotiating the price of the car, and that's definitely part of it. If you do your homework ahead of time, you're going to be much more confident in where the price of a vehicle should be. And again, think 10 to 20% less than the Kelly Blue Book so you get the most car for your money. This was a surprise to me when I bought my last vehicle. They bring you into a room and talk financing and warranty. Just do a little homework ahead of time. Are you someone who is okay with the factory warranty or do you want the full boat with the oil changes and all that stuff? Um, it is a little bit of a marathon. So if you know what you're getting into ahead of time, you're going to be more well prepared and more able to get the car you really want. Hey, it's Christmas. I got my sweater on. We're ready. The whole point of this is if there's going to be a car under your tree, be sure that you're getting the most for your money. If you've done your homework and follow these steps, you'll get the vehicle you wanted, the price you wanted. We're not throwing anyone under the bus here, folks. These salespeople are still going to meet their goals and they will say thank you for helping them get there quicker because you knew what you wanted and the price you wanted it at. And finally, I always want my insureds to be getting ahead. This is a great opportunity to add new skills to your toolbox. Research, negotiation, closing sales. These are things that can be a lot of fun and I've told stories about my car buying experience for years because it is such a unique experience. Once you get through all this and you need insurance, you got your guy. Oh, there is insurance. Insure differently. Have a great holiday, everyone. Cheers.